All right, boys, what are we gonna do? Win! For Cat and Walker. Folks, in just a few minutes, the championship game. But who could have imagined a championship game between these two teams? Our legendary Luka Goas against the horrendously ill-fated Besaid Oryx. This looks like history in the making, Baba. I would say it is, Jim. I would say it is. Our Luka Goers against the Besaid Orox. What do you make of this, Gregor? Well, you know, I'm just glad to be here in beautiful Luka Stadium, and it's a sunny day. I just want to see some good blitzball in action. And one of the greatest things about this sport, even if it was a rainy day, we'd still be able to have a game. And a game we shall have as it begins right now. The two teams are approaching each other in the middle of the stadium for the opening preliminaries. The Besaid Oryx, quite the sordid pass to them. Not a whole lot of wins on their counter, certainly never getting past the first round before today. But the Albed sites seem to have tripped up, and now they are facing up against the titans of the game. The Luka Goas, hometown heroes, as Bixen showing off that classic trademark bravado. And now the last moment of peace before the chaos begins as they go for the handshake. Whoa, and they're already going at it, folks. The Goas are taunting the Oryx. It's sure to be a fiery game today, isn't it, Gemma? It definitely indeed. Such a show of bad sportsmanship, unlikely from the Luka Goers. They must be a little rattled up knowing that the Oryx actually won a game for once. And we have Blitz off. Well, you know, they're not showing much respect, but respect is something that has to be earned, and so far we cannot say that the Besaid Oryx have done so. But after their first game today, maybe that confidence boost and the addition of this newbie, Titus, will show them something different. Titus moving up the left side. He's up against Avis. Avis with a tackle. Oh, but Titus manages to hold on and continues his assault. Titus looking for an opening. And a backwards pass to Jasu. Jasu moving toward the middle. Trying to find an opening, trying to find a breakthrough. And Jasu's going to move the ball up past the Luka defenders, up to Dotto. Dotto moving in and comes up right against Dorum. And Dorum now looking to end this little run that the Oryx are on. Oh, but fails to do so. Dotto still with the ball. Ah, but now he's up against Grav, the premier striker. And Grav also can't take the ball from him as he's looking for the pass. He's going to get rid of the ball. Over to Titus. Oh, no, that's Jasu, and Jasu fumbles the ball. Eddie picks up the fumble, however, and it's still the Oryx ball. Letty moves the ball up to Titus. And Gemma, do you know anything about this new young man that's joined with the Oryx? It doesn't seem like there's a lot on him in general. Not a lot about his name, not a lot about where he comes from, but one hell of a Blitzball player this boy is. And he takes the shot! Goal! Unbelievable. Unbelievable! The first team to score in this game, I never thought I'd be saying it, but it is the Besaid Oryx. And we have Blitz off again, Grav has the ball. Grav moves to his left, running right into Dotto on defense. Dotto goes for the hit, but manages to miss as Grav continues up the sideline. Grav formulating a plan, trying to decide which way to go. Comes up against Bada. And Bada, a big boy, going up and taking the jump. Puts a hand on the ball, but cannot stop the pass as it moves into Dorum, unhindered. An excellent play by Grav, which allows the goers to reformulate their positions as Dorum now attempts to creep down the sidelines. Ah, uh, she may be creeping, but the Oryx aren't sleeping as Dotto is hot on her heels, and he manages to overtake her. She braces for the attack. Dorum absorbs the hit. The goer's still in possession of the ball as she breaks from the sidelines to center stage. 
Now Bada back in front of the goers. And Bada manages to hold onto the ball. My word, such brutal handling of a female player. But then again, that's what you've got to have when you sign up for the game of Blitzball. Bada with a pass to Dotto. Dotto takes it in and he's got a clear shot for the goal. Moving up. Brav moves in front of him as he formulates his plan. Ooh, a hard tackle from Grav, but not enough for the goers to reclaim possession of the ball. Dotto with a nice shovel pass off to Titus. Titus moves forward and to his right. Moving in on the goal, but oh, runs into two goers at once. I don't know if he's going to be able to break through this, folks. He's going to go for a shot, but no! Oh, Balgerda is able to get up on that ball and take it away from him. Balgerda with a phenomenal recovery. This game could still go either way, Baba. Oh, but it seems payback is fair play as two of the Orux are now up on Valgerda's face, but Valgerda manages to take both hits and is moving forward with a pass. Grav now in possession of the ball. Grav being one of the strongest team players in the group and a well-respected member of the goers' team. They're walking to their, well, uh, Grav. <laughs> yes, it does seem that a player like Grav is beyond compare, isn't he? Grav passes off to Bixen, the premier striker for the goers' team. Bixen moving in. He appears to be going for the goal. Oh, but finds himself up against three hungry Oryx. One tackle, but that's not enough to take Bixen down. Here comes the shot. Letty gets a hand on it. Dotto gets a hand on it. It's moving toward the goal. Can Kiba make the... He does! Oh, what an incredible save. A pass to Bada, and the Oryx have reclaimed possession of the ball. And have you ever seen Kiba make a save like that, Jimma? No, I can't say I have. I have to say, that was quite athletic, especially for someone of his, uh, well, his build. Not that I can say anything about that myself, but here we go as Dotto catches the pass. Yes, Dotto moving up, and he's had quite a game himself this game so far. A lot of possession time, not a lot of interceptions. And now another swift pass off to the left forward. Titus ready to receive the pass, but not before the ref calls the halftime. Zone defense, boys! Stop those goers! Kevin! What about me? Get the ball and just shoot like crazy! Goers are going down! Yeah! Let's shoot like crazy! Yeah! All right, hustle! Welcome to the second half, folks, in this incredible game. Never thought I'd be saying it, but it is one to zero in favor of the Besaid Oryx as we move into half two. And right off the bat, the Oryx triple teaming Grav. Oh, what a disgusting display there. Two tackles, Grav manages to hold on. Grav takes a shot right up the middle. Dotto gets a hand on it. The ball is moving. Oh, and Keepa with another spectacular save. Jimma, this goalie is showing us something we've never seen before here. It's not just the goalie, Baba. The Orox and this surprise newcomer are showing some incredibly well-coordinated teamwork. Grega, would you care to fill us in? It's excellent teamwork, Jimma, which is something we haven't seen from the Orox in a very, very long time. What we're seeing is a spectacular push for the title against one of the top teams in the league. Bixen jumping right into the dog pile there. You can bet this here's a spectacular moment of retaliation for the goers. Oh my word, and that is something spectacular. Instead of breaking through with his body, he breaks through with the ball, spinning in the air like a top. Titus takes the shot. Bulgerda gets a hand on it, but no, it goes through. Rowdy can't catch it, and it's two to zero. Oryx, the crowd is cheering for the Oryx. Isn't this exciting? The Oryx, undoubtedly renowned for being one of the worst teams in the league, are putting that bad rap to rest with some excellent plays against the Goers. Trav, with the ball in hand, runs right into Titus. Titus with a hard tackle. Oh! But Grav manages to hold on and is swimming up the pitch. Letty and Jasu are both in hot pursuit. Oh, and Bada joins them for yet another three-man team-up. Whether you want to call triple teaming good teamwork or bad sportsmanship, it's certainly showing effective for the Oryx as Bada takes possession of the ball again. He passes up the field, and Titus once again has possession. Titus moving toward the goal. There's only one goer to stop him. Valgerda gets in his way. 
Is she going to be able to keep this from happening? No! She cannot get the ball. Tita shoots! And just like that, folks, it's 0 to 3 in favor of the Besaid Oryx. Goal! 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 Unbelievable! What a miraculous comeback! The crowd is going wild! The crowd seems to be rather excited about it, too. Do my ears deceive me, or is the crowd chanting for Waka, the champion and captain of the Oryx, who we have not seen in this game due to injury? Well, I don't think they've needed him at this point, but wouldn't that be a welcome surprise? A game like this? Waka deserves a good time like this. Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Tatus seems to be troubled. He certainly has been the star of this game, but I... Is he going... I believe he may be heading off the field. Where is that player going? I don't know. He's leaving the spear pool. He may be injured. To be honest, I did kind of feel left out, but it really was the Orox and Waka's show after all. I wonder what's happening. The crowd is going wild. Ah, it's Waka. He's back on the field and ready to go. The Oryx seem glad to have him back. But Blitzball fans, I'm not sure a substitution like this is legal. I'm going to have to check with the regulatory committee. Meanwhile, I'll leave commentary to Gemma. Take it away, Gemma. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Blitz off. Ball goes up in the air. Letty catches the ball. But he just dashes straight through. He seems to turn around, have a second thoughts. His strategy seems to be turning to a pass. He seems to be passing it to Bada, who intercepts successfully. He takes off with the ball. He seems to be running up for another pass. Winding it directly back to Dotto. Dotto seems to be in an interesting situation right next, but he just clears away. Dotto goes for the shot. Doram's on defense. Will he be able to make it through as he takes a direct hit from Doram? Dotto shoots! Goal! Unbelievable! With just over a minute left in the championship game, the Orox now leading the match 4-0, push the goers into another blitz off as Graf claims possession of the ball. Graf moving forward with the ball, but the Orox intercept. With just a minute to go, the Orox seem posed to win their first Blitzball Championship in 10 years! A tackle from Letty, a tackle from Dotto, the Orox unsuccessful in reclaiming the ball as Grav is pushing for an opening! Waka and Jasu now moving in, blocking Grav with another interception! Grav with a strong pass down the field, Jasu gets a hand on it, Waka gets a hand on it, it's moving over to Balgarda! With just under a minute to go, Balgarda pushes frantically to find the goers an opportunity, but Waka is closing in fast. And Balgarda passes the ball right back to Grav, one of the best in both mileage and shot capacity. With less than 20 seconds left on the clock, Grav pushes for the goal, but the Aurochs intercept with Letty and Jasu on defense. Grav hands off another pass down the field to Avis, a strong offensive player, but with no time remaining on the clock, the Aurochs win the championship. Unbelievable! The Orox win, folks! This is one for the record books!
Sir Oron? So you do know him? Yeah. Best guardian to ever was. Huh? <laughs> Don't you go anywhere. We gotta talk! We'll talk later. Focus on the enemy. Hey, give me a break! 